so I'm heading to KTM dealership to try out the new 790 Duke. I really hope this time my camera won't fuck up because uh, past three years, almost every time I went to KTM, something messed up my camera. Like seriously, it didn't either record or it didn't charge or something other was fucked up or I don't know but yeah hope this won't happen this time even like one time Mr. Dropalot was recording the sound through his Sina and guess what his voice was on a camera mine wasn't so don't know what what was up with that KTM 790 Duke with a Kropovich exhaust Take a naked bike on uh, my way, exactly the same. I don't know if you can even hear me. Let's try to close the visor. Another BMW driver using a phone, of course. And I'm uh, not just not just using it, but text, sending a text message. But anyways, so this is where the beast. under a 10,000 euro beast and I want to try it in a city So yeah, naked bikes on a highway, I don't like them, but overall the ergonomics, I really enjoy sitting on it, and oh man, that's nice, so clickable. But yeah, I'm so used with the fairing and everything and this thing, uh, it's a naked bike, 790cc naked bike, parallel twin, the first time for the ATM they're doing parallel twin. And yeah, oh, there was a bike, I didn't even see him. What's that? Oh. So, good shift up and down.
haven't checked the specs at all, but Electromotor comes here to record and make pictures of bikes. I like what they did with the headlights and they do look nice. Not sure how they're gonna look on a Enduro version, but we'll see. A Kropovich. Listen to it. it. Sounds nice. Looks good. So high beam. Just like that, all the working. Okay. Easy peasy. So let's see. Oh. Let's use this to record. Tips, ride mode, sport. Actually, let it be in street. Track, rain, street, motorcycle. Okay, you can use quick shifter, turn it off, turn ABS off, MTC, MSR, I think those are cornering ABS and that kind of things. And favorites. Okay, fuel range. Okay, looks good. Oh, by the way, let's... Okay. Nothing, but nothing. If I take off the thing and turn this off, what's gonna happen now? Ready to race. And kill switch, nice. So let's continue our travels I like the dashboard because it tells me the time, the temperature, trip and also the fuel range and it shows me uh, really nicely what kind of gear I have what are the revs, the speed, what modes it shows me everything I need to know or I want to know Oh, this is the same corner. I don't have a video of it anymore. 
But this is the same burner, they didn't have those holes here. And uh, I didn't realize there was a corner, and I was with a Rel 90 and almost went to the field. And I was thinking, just <coughs> corner it, lean, lean, more lean, 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 and that's how I saved the bike. Shifter. Love it. Same scooter, bro. I have a really nice bike and you don't treat me. Love this thing. I'm not going uh, into the city because I can uh, see how this thing rides so on a city speed, and I don't have to lane split to know that this thing uh, can lane split. So yeah. And look how clickable this thing is. Dweller. Really good city dweller. Love how the work feels instantaneous. And the suspension isn't scary like it was with the first Yamaha 2009. It has a really nice suspension also. Clutch is a cable clutch, not the hydraulic. But they tried to keep the price under 10,000 euros and they succeeded. So it costs 10 euros under 10,000 euros. And overall the looks and the feel, it's good. But to completely understand how the bike is, I'd have to um, ride it uh, for a couple of days. But can't do that. Overtakes are really easy. Well, that doesn't. That bike doesn't weigh anything for the 800. And uh, just really easy. And with a drop of its exhaust, man, that sounds good. But I would change all those mirrors. I might put some maybe clip-ons or something. Just don't like those mirrors, but that's easily. Fixable.
All right. Uh, go on, take it that way back. Oh, that's easy. Just gonna have to go right from here, and that will be okay. So, motorcycle guards, please give me money so I can buy this thing. Please. Oh man, leaning, leaning, counter steering and leaning, it's so good. But still on a highway, it really wants to get rid of me. But this happens when you ride a naked bike, doesn't it? I really, really like it. I don't want to take it back. Just don't want to take it back, but I have to. Okay, there is a difference, little difference between the modes. Sport, and you feel the power straight away. And rain, it kind of gradually comes. So, uh, when I chose a bike last time, before I bought the Africa Twin, I thought my bike will be needing a traction control or rain mode or something like that. Because when it's raining, I might get sloppy and just use too much trouble. This thing has traction control and rain mode and sport mode and track mode. So what else can a guy want or need? Quick shifter up and down. Big fat wheel and just lovely. 